I know this is kind of an old topic already, but I feel like I have to bring it up at least one more time, and that is one of the most common air conditioner problems. Especially where I live, this last July, it was cottonwood season, and you betcha, when it's cottonwood season, the outside unit gets really dirty. So one of the main reasons why the air conditioner stops working or stops cooling as well as it used to is simply because it gets all plugged up on the outside. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do to get that to work normally again. Or at least if you're not sure what it is, this is definitely a first easy step to take to see if that's your problem. So all you need to clean your outside unit really is just some hose and water. So optimally, you do wanna clean it from inside out but you could also spray it from outside in and that gets the job done too. And I just wanna point out that sometimes even when the unit looks clean, it's actually all dirty inside between the fins. So on the outside, it may look clean, but it may be dirty still. So if you're having problems with your unit, even if it looks clean, but you haven't washed it for a while, I would recommend still washing it. So let's go ahead and take this top off and then wash it from inside out. I'll show you an example of that. Now, before you proceed, definitely turn the power off. You don't want the fan to turn on as you're trying to do this. So it's either a disconnect or a breaker or just turn it off at your thermostat. But we'll turn that off right here. And now we can take this and flip it out. Usually I like to just put it on its backside and just let it hang out like this. And then after you're done, you could just simply put it back. Check out this frog, it's doing the splits. He had it rough. As you can see, the condenser fins on the coil, they're not too dirty. I've seen way worse than that. Sometimes there's like up to an inch of accumulation of different kind of stuff, cottonwood, dirt, dust, and whatever else, leaves that gets sucked in there because the unit is sucking in the air from the sides and then ejecting it out from the top. So we wanna get all that washed up and cleaned up. Okay, all done. And just one thing I wanna point out. So if you look at this, at these fins right here, it's just really thin sheets of metal. What I wanna point out is you don't wanna to use too much pressure in your water. If you have a power washer, definitely don't use it on your unit as these fins will get bent up. I prefer to use my finger without a nozzle because a lot of nozzles, their pressure is a little too strong and they can bend these fins. On some units, these fins are flimsier than others. This one is not too bad. So yeah, the fins don't use too much pressure on the water. And another thing I wanna say is you don't have to get too excited about cleaning the coil. You wanna wash it down good, if possible, inside and out. But see how there's a little bit of stuff remaining? You don't have to get too excited about it. If there's some stuff left, that's okay. As long as, as, long as you got most of it cleaned, you should be good. And this frog right here, he's still doing the splits. I also go to many houses that have a ton of bushes all around their unit. By code, you should have at least two feet of clearance on all sides of the unit, from the top and all the sides. 
So if you have a bunch of bushes all around your unit, they're all getting sucked up into it, I would recommend trimming all around it so you have a lot of clearance around your unit so your unit can breathe. Well, and that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this fan back on and this unit is gonna run like a champ. And by the way, whenever you're hosing the unit down, don't be spraying the motor too much. Even though it's a sealed motor, you don't want water to get inside of there. Otherwise there is potential that it could start to rust. So try not to spray the motor. If it's in there and you're spraying from the top, that should be okay. I mean, it rains on top of it all the time. Just when you have it flipped upside down, then it's easier for the water to get in. And you don't have to let it dry before you let the unit turn on. And the frog is optional. If you want to take it off, you can. Otherwise, you could just leave it there and it's going to be a good ornament. Well, that is all I had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. You got some good information out of it. If you still have some questions about cleaning it, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I will see you next time. And if you're still here, let me leave you with the puzzle. If you're able to solve this, well, consider me impressed. This puzzle was pretty hard. I thought I had it for sure, but I didn't. I'll leave it up for about 30 seconds. If you need more time, just pause the video. The answer will be in the description. Good luck.